right guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, I wanna talk about how to build story through filming better B-roll sequences. And a B-roll sequence is just a variety of shots that go together in a sequence. But more importantly, these shots complement one another. They cut together and they give the viewer a feeling, a feeling of really being there. And it also helps them notice some things in the surroundings that maybe they wouldn't catch right away. Now, a lot of times when you're on a shoot, if you're like me, you need to make the most of your time. You don't have all day to set up and film three shots. Instead, you're making decisions in the moment and you might even be seeing the scene you're in for the first time. So that's why it's important to first be comfortable with your gear. And this is sort of the first tip that I have for you. Don't get out there, whether it's out in the woods, in a scenic location, or somewhere in a city, and you're there with your subject, and you're looking down at your camera, fiddling with your settings. If you have limited time, you wanna spend that time getting additional footage, not troubleshooting what picture profile you wanna use, or whether or not your autofocus settings are dialed in. These are the things you can work on ahead of time so you're ready for action. Now let's talk about what you need to capture in order to build a cinematic sequence. And the key here is variety and not just, hey, let's film every single angle of this person every which way. But think of what else is in the scene that you can reveal while still bringing the focus back to your subject and your story. So first, you need establishing shots. This helps establish your scene. And this is typically a wide shot that just reveals the location that you're in. Uh, this might be a drone shot, it might be just a handheld shot with you know your wide angle lens, or you might be using a gimbal to incorporate some slight movement. However you capture it, just make sure that you get some establishing shots of the area with your subject and without your subject, just so that you have some options. And that's something that I'll talk about a little later, but I'll go ahead and say it now. Your subject doesn't need to be in every single shot of your sequence to build the story. Now the downside of not filming any establishing shots for your sequence uh, will likely have a few consequences. You know, your viewer might not quite grasp the context of the scene, or it may leave them a little bit confused on some of the details. If everything is mid-range and close-ups, even if they look great, I think zooming out and seeing the big picture is a must. The second kind of shots that you want in your sequence are mid-range shots of both your surroundings and your subject. And these shots really help to show action that is taking place. You know, you're telling the story. If you're thinking of a focal range, you know, this is typically around 35 to 50 millimeters. And it's basically what the human eye would perceive if you were there. So try to think of, you know, what perspective do I have just here standing on my own two feet? What can I see? Um, and try to capture those things, you know, in a nice composition. These are the shots that you definitely want to have plenty of. So make sure that you cover your basis and get several workable angles. Uh, you're probably not going to use every single one of them, but you will have the options when you're editing and you'll appreciate that later. The third kind of shot you want are those close-ups. And this really shows some detail in your scene. Uh, these can be some really beautiful uh, shots and it might be of a plant or a river or some branches blowing in the wind with a sun flare. Uh, it may involve your subject. It might be a close-up of their hands or their feet or a facial expression. Uh, but it can also be a little combination of both. Try putting something in the foreground, you know, focusing on something nice in the foreground and then letting your subject kind of walk through the background of that shot. That can be a nice way to kind of bring those two things together. So now we've covered the types of shots that you need to get, establishing mid-range, close-ups, um, but here are a few tips to consider as well. So the first tip is pretty simple, and that's just to slow down. Try to be aware of what's around you. Uh, like I mentioned before, you're likely limited with time, whether that's just your schedule or the available daylight that you have. Uh, so you're going to need to act fast, but that doesn't mean you need to hurry through it. You just need to be efficient with your time. 
and the more you edit the footage that you're filming, the more you're gonna realize what you could have done better. And that's the beauty of learning. But for now, just start with slowing down. So the second tip is not to focus too long on one particular shot. And this goes along with, you know, being efficient. If you obsess over one shot or focus too long in one area, you're gonna get back and realize you have six shots of basically the same bush or, you know, the same place in your scene. Uh, and that will make for a fairly stale cinematic sequence. So do your best to nail your shot and then move on to something else. The last tip is actually something you can't see, but it's something that you can hear. And that's sound effects. Yep, sound effects can make it great and really elevate your viewer's experience. So try to incorporate natural sounds into those sequences. You know, the things that you're actually seeing. You know, whatever it is, trying to incorporate the actual sound of that into your sequence uh, will really, you know, kind of bring it to the next level. And I. Once you start using sound effects, you won't go back. All right, guys, I think that's it for today. I hope you found this helpful. If you have some questions, hit me up in the comments. I'd love to see some of the B-roll that you're working on. Uh, yeah, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and go crush your scene.